Did you know that cards can be a bank full of money? Yeah, neither did I, but check this out. This is the bank. These are the helicopter landing pads on the roof, and the four jacks are the bank robbers. The four bank robbers fly in with a helicopter and land on the roof. The first robber goes to the bottom floor to guard the entrance. The second robber goes for the teller machines. The third robber goes for the vault. And the fourth robber guards the helicopter. In a short time, they grab all the money and make their way back to the roof. They begin loading the helicopter, preparing for a clean getaway, when suddenly the alarm goes off and two FBI agents show up in a police helicopter. They begin circling the building. They land on the roof and immediately apprehend one of the robbers. The other three bank robbers hightail it to the bottom floor and try to escape with the two FBI agents in hot pursuit take the express elevator down to the bottom floor where they quickly apprehend the remaining bank robbers and recover all the money for themselves. I hope you enjoyed that. This is my version of the classic four bank robbers card routine. It includes the classic version plus an alternate ending. Both are super easy to learn and I'm going to show you how to do it. But first, just remember, if you don't want to know the secrets, then watch no further because once you do know, you can't unknow. We'll give a couple seconds for those who don't want to know. Okay, here we go. This routine uses normal playing cards, no gimmicked cards, and there's only one slight you need to know, and that slight is the dreaded pinky break. It's actually fairly easy to learn, and if you're already a pinky break master, then just have fun with the routine. First, I'll go through the classic version and show several different ways to begin. Then I'll go through the alternate ending, which is basically added to the end of the classic version. My grandfather showed me this about 50 years ago. Yeah, so it's been around for quite a while. It goes like this. You're secretly holding three extra random cards behind the four jacks when they land on the roof. And here are several ways to get to this position. In the performance, I had them set up like this with the jack of spades and the three random cards behind. Bend them back and forth a couple times. They should stay together. Take a red jack. This is a little bit of a stack, so it won't lay flat perfectly. So bend it right there just a little bit and place it right there. There's a reason for the placement. I'll show you in a second. Take a black jack. Make sure this edge is lower than this one. Place it right about in there. And the next red jack goes right about there inside. So this jack is on the outside. This one's on the outside. This is in the middle. And this stack, when you push them together, will stay underneath all of them. Use two fingers so they don't separate and slide them together. And that's the first way. My grandfather taught me this way, super easy. Just have the three random cards behind one of the jacks and start lining them up like so, just underneath the pip, underneath the J, and go black, red, black, red. You can do this ahead of time. Make sure these are square and you present your cards like this and then you push them together, turn them over, and they fly in and land on the roof. Or you can begin with the four jacks on the bottom, bottom meaning if it's oriented like this, and you just start off, look, the four jacks are the bank robbers, and secretly push three extra cards over. And you can say, look, the four jacks, one of each suit, that's gonna get their attention. They'll look to see if you're telling the truth. Is there one of each suit? And as you push them back, you get your ring finger up underneath there, or your pinky. And when you square them up, 
you're actually holding those three cards and you square all seven cards up and you place them down and you can begin like that. So the four jacks are the bank robbers. They land on the roof, follow the pattern or the storyline. The first robber goes to the bottom floor, actually a random card. The second and third robbers, random cards, go into the middle. And the last robber, actually the first jack, turn it over so they can see, stays to guard the helicopter. Slide them in, set them aside, pause for a bit. You should still have the four jacks on the top. Do the reveal. All the robbers work their way back to the roof, get in the helicopter, and make a clean getaway. That's the end of the classic version. For the alternate ending, you'll need to do a couple top card pinky breaks. The two methods used in this routine are as follows. If you're placing a card on top of the deck, jam the tip of your pinky right there, and when you place it on top, Press the card down all the way around except for right there. Instant pinky break. The other method is if the card is already on top and you need to get a pinky break. Slightly push over the top card, jam your pinky up underneath it, and pull it back. With both methods, use your thumb and other fingers to make sure the card is flush with the rest of the deck except for the corner your pinky is under. Although you can see it plain as day, it won't be visible from the front. You'll also need three identical jokers. Prior to beginning the classic part, replace the top extra random card with one of the jokers. So it should be joker, two random cards, and the four jacks. During the classic phase, when the first robber goes to the bottom floor, it's actually one of the jokers being placed into position for the grand finale. Do not flash the bottom after this point. At the end of the classic phase, you should have the four jacks face up on the table and a joker secretly positioned on the bottom of the deck. Make sure your other two jokers are sitting off to the side. I had them sitting on a card box, so when I was ready, I could just grab them like this and bring them over. Continue with the patter. They begin loading the helicopter. Book turn one jack at a time face down on top of the deck. Flip over the last jack and place it on top, catching a pinky break. Make sure it's flush with the rest of the cards so you don't flash the break. Suddenly the alarm goes off. Grab your two jokers off to the side, show them, and book turn them both to a face up position on top of the card you're holding a pinky break on. Immediately pick up all three cards and thumb slide the top joker to the bottom. You're holding two cards here. Hold them tight and push it here. This is a classic sandwich move created from a pinky break. Use the deck, slide them together, drop them on there, and they apprehend the first robber. Square these up a little bit and push three cards over. Those are your three jacks. Flip them over along with the jokers. As you push over the three jacks to go to the bottom floor, push over one extra card slightly. Get your ring finger up underneath it as you square the jacks up. You've stolen one of the jokers and they go to the bottom. There's your joker. Push it as far as you can right to about the end of the pip there. Don't leave it sticking out too far. It'll be hard to do the next move I'm going to show you. So when you put it in, let it stick out just a little bit. As Soon as these go to the bottom, deal two cards down. Now you're going to catch a pinky break on this next card and you're going to use this hand to hide it as you're pushing these jacks in. You're going to push over a card a little bit, get your pinky in there. At the same time you're covering it so you don't see it. From the front you won't be able to see. So you have these jacks there. It's the three jacks and the joker on the bottom. Push it over, get your pinky break, squeeze them in, come back, grab these two cards. You're going to need a mat or a hand towel or something. So you can pick these up, make sure they're nice and square, turn it over. You're going to show one joker. You're going to do a half of a flustration count. It's super easy. Come over here, slide one card, Drop it on top of the one you're holding the pinky break. Show the same joker again. Drop it on top. Pick up all three cards. 
pull the top card off, put it on the bottom, similar to the sandwich. Push that in. Your joker is now third card down. You have two random cards on the top, and they take the express elevator down. And then you can reveal them however you like. I do it like this. It looks a little fancy. Turn these over, and you should be all set up for the final reveal. These are my final thoughts. Synchronize your moves with the pattern. You're telling a story. It's part of the misdirection. Also, in the beginning, once you have the four jacks and either the three random cards or the two random cards and the joker in your possession, hand the deck out for someone to shuffle. Have your two jokers in there. Have them shuffle the deck, remove the two jokers themselves, and they'll also notice there's no more jacks in there. It'll help solidify in their mind that there's only two jokers. And don't forget to tell a good story and you'll do well. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have something to say, but please no spoiler alerts. And that's it.